Hi everyone, this is Cass from Cass's Creations and Boom Gel Stain. I'm just going to show you a small canvas which is 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters, using only white Boom Gel Stain and black. Um, that background noise is our chickens, so hopefully they won't get too loud. They've all laid their eggs this morning, so we should be right. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to start off with my white. I'm going for a negative space type effect and for the first time ever I'm going to use a brush I'm going to use a brush I was um, somebody commented how messy I am so I'm trying to show you that boom actually can be tidy um, it's me that's naturally messy not boom so all I'm doing here is just getting a really good coat of um, the sterling wax white I haven't got quite enough on my edges but I'll sort that out It's so easy with these easy pour bottles. I love it. Um, you don't have to worry about pre-mixing into cups or anything like that. So it's fantastic, user-friendly. Okay, so now I'm getting a really good coat. You can see I've gone quite thick. And that's because, um, you'll see, it's because of the method that I'm using. Now, I've generated a couple of bubbles just through um, brushing really fast. Don't worry, they'll um, just disperse away and... They won't be there when it's finished. And now that's my noisy dog. Okay. All right, so now we'll get the other end. Okay, nearly done. Okay, so this is me attempting to be tidy. Okay, here's hoping the cleaning fairies are on my side today <laughs> as I attempt to be tidy. All right, so there's my white. I'm happy. I've got a fairly good coating there. There's a couple of areas where I don't, um, but I've got some um, good coverage everywhere else, and it's not going to stay like this. You will see what I mean once I get going. I've got little bits flying into this. It's actually quite windy here where I am today. Okay, here comes my black. So you can see there's some grooves and uh, another bit of dust. So like I said, I'm going for a negative space type effect. So bear with me. And I do want some kind of pattern formation in this. I want that to build up a bit higher, actually. Okie dokes. So I'm just going to be tilting. We'll see how this goes. Now, the other little thing that I've got to the side here is actually just a spray bottle, a mist spray bottle with some water. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with that once I get this moving just a wee bit. So I'm going to spin that back around. Now look how clean I'm being. I'm being so tidy. Okay. So we're starting to get some movement and now I'm actually just going to give it a spritz with water. And you can see what happens. So of course not only is it going to make it move quicker but we're going to get a whole lot of different um, effects, especially visually. If you can zoom in on some of those areas. So I'm just going to keep that going just until we get some movement down the end here. piece of paper. Now if you're at home and you do want to keep it tidy, you can just have a cardboard box with a plastic inlay. It doesn't even have to have a plastic inlay to be honest, but then you're not going to get any drips anywhere. 
All right, so now I've got that side going. I'm going to come back this way. Okay, sorry, that is one of my charming children in the background there. He's actually old enough to know better, but you know, <laughs> you just have to play the cards you're dealt with. Alrighty. <laughs> So I've given another spritz and you'll see we're really starting to get some nice effects. Oh, I almost dropped it then. And it's really quite amazing. So I'm rushing this, but if I wasn't videoing, I would actually be really taking my time with this and trying to just tilt it slower and focusing on my little areas that I wanted um, more effects. Um, I'm rushing it of course because we don't want a boring video there's nothing worse so but you can see the effect that I've got going and I'm just going to keep tilting because I really want to thin this out quite a bit more and then we'll actually have some cells coming through as well so I'm just going to maybe give it another spritz and see what happens see so we've got it moving quicker and you can see now I'm starting to get some like webbing and lacing effects which is really what I wanted. So now I'm going to angle it a slightly different way just to keep that going. I hope you can see this in the camera, guys. It's starting to look really, really pretty. Okay, I might give another scrape there and actually up here as well. Okay, so you can see now it's thinning out. We're starting to get the cells coming through. What I'll do is I'll actually um, continue just to watch this and if I need to spritz it again, I will. Um, I don't think there's really much spritzing I want to do to it now. I'm starting to really like this. Um, there's an area here. I will actually touch that up. You can see where you can see the canvas. I really do want some more white there. Everywhere else is fine. I'm quite happy. This, if I lay this down flat now, um, the cells are going to continue. Um, okay. Just can you see that area, Riley? Because there's going to be more popping up. We'll just see if it's if you catch some on camera. What I might do is just tilt it this way for a sec. Let's see what happens. So we've got a really nice effect there and it's come straight off the canvas of course because I was distracted and looking at another area. Okay. So for the video I'm doing it out here, next time I'll actually um, do one inside so I'm not getting all these particles of dust. I'm just going to, I want to spray this, just this side area and we'll see what happens. So all I've used here is Boom Gel Stain straight out of the bottle, literally. There's no flow troll, there's no silicone, there's no nothing added. And of course just a mist bottle with some good old water in it. But you can see how this creates just a completely different effect. Um, I'm going to spray over here and so you'll watch that change oh that one I sprayed quite a bit so you can see that okay so now it's really it actually does um a lot more smaller cell action you get with doing a heavier spray And this pattern here, um, you've probably seen it on, you get a similar pattern with the um, electrical wood burning and also, um, sadly, electrical shock victims. They actually end up with a similar pattern too. It's called 
Lichtenberg or something, I think, but or you can just call it like the fern pattern. And it's this, um, that's what happens after they've been electrocuted or after you've actually um, run some electricity through some wood, which looks amazing. Okay. I'm going to keep tilting that. Um, so what I'll do now is I'm going to keep tilting and messing around with it. If I add anything, it will only be uh, a small amount of white boom back over in this area because you can see it's quite thin. And I may spray with some more water. But that's it. Um, I will show you uh, the results of this tomorrow once it's dry. See all these blobs here? They'll actually level out and just dry completely flat. So it looks amazing. Um, and we'll see how this looks tomorrow. But I think it's going to look really good. I did actually want a larger area to have like a negative space. It hasn't worked out that way, but that's okay. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll put up a short video of the results of this um, in the next day or two. Thanks, bye.